Welcome to the channel. In this video, I will be explaining the benefit of dueling multiple people as it pertains to increasing your ability to 1vx. Just briefly, overall, one of the fastest ways to improve your gameplay is to play. If you want to get better at 1v1s, then you should 1v1. If you want to get better at 1vx, then you need to 1vx. However, scenarios in which you can 1vx in a controlled environment are very rare. In open world, you have ads sometimes, and most of the time, you can't even find a group of players to fight you. In OPR, once again, people can easily disengage and walk away. Some may tolerate and stay and fight, but for the most part, after you kill about two of them, then the third person usually runs, or the fourth person usually runs in something of that sort. So, in order to practice 1vx in a controlled environment, dueling multiple people has truly improved my overall gameplay and my ability to 1vx. So in this video, I will show you how I practice it and show you me losing my 1vx at first and the things that I change and realize about my gameplay that helped me come out on top of the next time I fight this group of people. So to start off, I invite them all to a duel. I run over to the stairs so that I can have some form of terrain to play against. So as I'm fighting, I'm trying to locate who does the most damage and who I should take out first. I see the ice pylon and I try and get rid of the ice pylon, but standing in the blizzard and trying to take the ice pylon with two range individuals hitting me just destroyed my entire health. So in this fight, that was the point at which I knew that, hey, I cannot engage to these individuals in melee combat with two range players, both having equal access to me for me to fight. Okay, so we decide to do them again. Using what we learned last time, you don't want to stand in the ice pylon blizzard combo while getting smacked with double range. I take them over to the stairs. I know the stairs is a little bit better for line of sight versus just open field. I stay out of the ice storm and I ignore the pylon. I just accept that it's going to be there and I ignore it. But now I have two melees over here destroying my stamina. And that's been an issue that I didn't anticipate. So I got the shockwave, I got a clear out, but my health is low, I'm out of potions, and this has already been a bad start. But I learned something from this, that this narrow stairway is very advantageous to me just hiding around. But my health is already low, I have a lot of damage over time effects on me, and CC status effects, I know this is not gonna be a win. And what really messed me up was when I got CC'd on the corner, my character tried to stand back up, and that just solidified me in that knockdown state for me to die instantly. I do them once again, and now I run over to the side. I know that this terrain is workable. I know that the stairs are a good spot to tunnel them into. So they both rush at me with their great sword, and I got CC'd. I get the combo on me, and right now I'm just trying to defend and wait for them to get all their cooldowns. And once they stack up, so they try to barrage me before with the great swords together. And I saved my CC specifically for that. And now that they were able to group up, we got them in that little corner just by sheer luck. We were able to get them in that corner. But now it's just a 1v1 at the moment. And so what I did over there, just to explain, was when you have multiple melee attacking you, what you want to do is to save your CC until they stack up together. Then you can get two people at once or three people at once with your CC chain, which is going to heal you for a lot and do a lot of damage to everybody. So when multiple people take a lot of damage, they typically don't go on the offense and they end up going defensive. And when they play defensive, they're not putting a lot of damage on you, which allows you to go and heal up. So that wasn't really a clean fight, but I'll show you the next battle. Basically, to give you some context with the chat that was going on, I had fought them several times after 
trapped him in the corner and I was able to win, but this was the battle that kind of tied everything in together in which I had calculated their play style and learned and tried to make some adjustments to what I was doing wrong, but we were able to defeat them consistently. So I was asking for a fourth person to join to increase what I could gain from the interaction. So to start out, I know that the stairs were good. So the stairs right now was a spot that I could funnel them into because it doesn't have a lot of width. And they had realized this because that's how I had won the previous match against them. So as you can see, the ranger staying down and their melee uh, great sword user was up on top and his job is to try and bait me down into it. So I see him on that corner. I don't really want to fall for the bait, but they're not going to come up because they know that that's not a smart thing to do. Another benefit from dueling multiple people is they also learn your play style too and they learn things that will make it easier for them to kill you. And so they know that this is my spot. I was able to bait the melee sword and shield dude up towards me and once his mate saw him get hit, he had to come in to try and help and remedy the scenario. I see the ice pylon, I'm able to get the shield rush on the ice pylon which is a guaranteed fortify. So now I rock with that fortify as I go and charge him and right now the melee dude, he has his potions up but he doesn't want to use it to try and bait me into the open field. The two other players are playing defensively and from a distance but they succeeded in dragging me down to the open field. I know that in order for me to bait them and lure them over to the stairs I have to at least show them some vulnerability. So I just want to get the DPS low enough, at least the melee DPS low enough for me to get a combo to finish in which I'm able to get him with everything I had, full atlas combo, and we knock him down. Now it's just two range individuals and that's going to be difficult finding in an open spot. They have a lot of DPS, especially the mage and the bow user. If he just hits me and starts focusing me and I'm not defending, then it can be very challenging for me to fully tank all his DPS. So right now I'm just blocking a lot of their attacks and that's the main way I can stay tanky here is to just keep on blocking. I see he got stuck into that stairwell so I try to hit him with the shield rush but I lost sight of the melee dude and the mage was able to rest him. That was a mistake on my part and I was like oh man. So now I have to reset up the combo, find another time. I see his stamina is low. That's another indicator. When the stamina is low, that's a free combo for you. And I was able to get him with the full combo. And now I'm not going to make the same mistake I made before, in which I would be, you know, trying to chase the melee, chase the range individuals around and lose sight of the melee. So I'm going to hug down his body, but they're at the advantage in this spot. So. I'm fighting them in their territory, which is not good. But what gives me an advantage is the mage, his primary DPS is his flamethrower, which is a medium range attack. And the bow user has a great sword, which is also a melee weapon. So when you have players who have both range and melee, they can switch over to coming to melee when they see your health being lower, when they see that you're starting to be more aggressive. Because face it, fighting with just one weapon, which is either the bow or his ice pylon and stuff, is just not enough to take me down. And so, I was able to bait them, get them with the combo, and that's good game, good night. Overall, if you want to get better at 1vx and you want to be a tank in open world and OPR and wars, etc., you just need to keep on fighting. There is no other way to do it. There's no... There's no cheat sheet, there's, there's nothing to it. You just gotta keep on fighting. And the reason I'm making this video is solely for the purpose of showing you all, hey, this is how you can learn. This is how you can progress. This is how you can get better. These are awesome opponents I was fighting and they had a good time and I had a good time. So anytime you're out in the public or out in the open world, just group duel. Never, never single duel when there's a group duel option. Just group duel them. Say, hey, I wanna fight all four of you. I wanna fight all three of you. You're gonna get wrecked over and over and over again. But the more you fight them, the more you can calculate and learn and try new strategies and just become a better player. That's all I have for you all. Peace.